Chapter 1. Ancient Legends In the distant prehistoric times, there was a small village surrounded by green forests and winding rivers named Flame Village. Residents here believe in an old legend that their ancestors once caught a sacred flame from the sky. Since then, this flame has become the guardian fire of the village, which has been passed down from generation to generation and has never been extinguished. Shirhua, the son of the patriarch, is the faithful guardian of this legend. He has broad shoulders and firm eyes, and every day he piously guards the jumping flame by the fire in the middle of the village. The villagers believe that as long as the flame is not extinguished, their lives will be full of light and warmth. However, one day, the sky suddenly became gloomy and covered with dark clouds, and a sudden storm swept the whole village. The wind roared, the rain poured down, and the villagers hurried to escape, while the stone fire nervously guarded the flame. Unfortunately, a more violent wind swept through, and the flame faltered, and finally it was extinguished in sure was frightened eyes. Darkness and cold quickly enveloped the flame village, and the villagers gathered together, looked at each other, and were at a loss. Without flame, their life seems to have lost its direction. Shirhua felt unprecedented pressure, but he knew that he had to find the fire and rekindle it. He picked up the stone knives and skins given by the patriarch and prepared to embark on a journey to find new kindling. His eyes are firm, and although his heart is full of uncertainty, his voice is particularly powerful in the roar of the storm. I will find our fire and rekindle it. Chapter 2. The Prediction of Wisdom Shirhua crossed the dense forest, crossed the fast-flowing river, and embarked on the journey of searching for kindling. His footsteps are firm, his hands are clutching the stone knife, and his eyes reveal his determination to the unknown and his deep attachment to his home. The birds in the forest seem to be cheering for him, too, and making inspiring crows. In a quiet valley, Shirhua met a legendary wise man named Guyen. Huyin's back is bent and her hair is as white as snow, but her eyes are as bright as stars, as if she can see all the secrets in the world. Shirhua stated his predicament to Huyin and asked for help. After listening to it, Huyin was silent for a moment and then slowly spoke, her voice as calm as flowing water. Fire is not just a flame, it is a symbol of life, and it is the transmission of wisdom and hope. To rekindle the flame, you need to find the sunstone, which is a magical gift given to us by nature. Shirhua listened attentively, and the insightful words, like the brightest Beidou in the night sky, guided him forward. The old man also taught Shirhua how to use flint and dead branches to make a fire, which is an ancient and mysterious skill. Shirhua, guided by the discerning eye, struck the flint carefully, and Mars jumped in the dark, eventually igniting the dead branches. A warm current sprang up in his heart, as if he saw the dawn of hope. Grateful to the eye bowed, Shirhua, with newly learned skills and expectations of the sunstone, and continued to embark on a journey. He knows that this is only the beginning of the challenge, and more tests are still waiting for him. Chapter 3 Bravely Rushing into the Valley of Fire Stone Fire, with the guidance of discerning eyes and hope for the future, continued to embark on the journey of finding the sun stone. He came to a place called the Valley of Fire, which is an unknown land full of danger. The lava river in the fire valley is rolling and steaming, and the air is filled with the smell of sulfur. At the entrance of the fire valley, Shirhua met a huge guardian yen. Yen was covered with fiery red scales, and his eyes shone with vigilance. Its breath is like a volcanic eruption, hot and intense. Shirhua knows that this is a challenge that must be faced. He took a deep breath, steadying his nerves, and Shirhua took firm steps. He used a stone knife to draw a few symbols in the air, which was an ancient spell taught to him by the discerning eye to calm the anger of wild animals. Yen was hostile to this strange human at first, but under the influence of the spell, its mood gradually calmed down. Shirhua approached Yen slowly, and his movements were gentle and respectful, as if he were communicating with a powerful opponent. He said softly, I'm not here to be your enemy, great Yen. I just want to find our fire and make our home warm again. 
Yen seemed to understand Sherwa's intention, and it slowly stepped aside, making way for him to the sunstone. Sherhua gratefully nodded to Yen, and then carefully crossed the Valley of Fire. His heart is full of respect for Yen, and he is more determined about his mission. The sunstone is just ahead, and he can feel its warm power calling him. Chapter 4 The Gift of the Sun After passing the test of the Fire Valley, Sherwa finally came to a sacred place where the sun shone. Here is the place where the sunstone is located, a brilliant clearing, and a huge stone with warm light stands in the center. The surface of the sunstone is as smooth as a mirror, reflecting dazzling light. It is like a fragment of the sun and contains infinite energy. Sherhua walked towards the sunstone, and his figure was silhouetted on the surface of the stone. He reached out and touched the warm surface, feeling a shock that had never been seen before. He closed his eyes and prayed silently to the sun, hoping to get this precious gift. Just then, the sunstone began to shine more brightly, and its surface cracked a thin crack. Sherhua opened his eyes and looked at the scene in surprise. The crack grew bigger and bigger, and finally a warm flame floated out of it, which gently fell into Sherhua's hands. This flame is different from any flame he has ever seen. It has no smoke, no burning sound, only pure light and warmth. Sherhua felt a surge of power in his body, and he knew it was the magical power given to him by the sun. He carefully put the flame into the skin, and then bowed to the sunstone again to thank him. With the acquisition of the flame, his mood also became relaxed, because he knew that he was about to return to his village with hope. Chapter 5 The Return of Flame Full of hope and the flame given by the sun, Sherhua embarked on his way home. His steps are firmer than before, and his heart is full of joy of going home and longing for the future. The scenery along the way seems to be more vibrant, and the bird songs are more pleasant, as if everyone is celebrating his success. When Sherhua returned to Flame Village, the villagers left their homes in succession, and their faces were full of anxiety and expectation. Seeing the flame in Sherhua's hand, their eyes immediately lit up, and cheers and applause resounded through the sky. Sherhua walked to the front of the extinguished fire, and all eyes were focused on him. He carefully took out the flame of the sun and put it in the prepared woodpile. With a slight crack, the flame began to spread slowly, and the warm light once again lit up the flame village. The villagers danced happily around the rekindled flame, and their laughter and songs filled the whole village. Sherhua looked at all this, and his heart was filled with great pride and satisfaction. He knows that this is not only his personal victory, but also a symbol of unity and courage of the whole village. He carefully placed the sun stone in the center of the village to ensure that this precious gift can protect them forever. Night arrival, stars hanging in the sky, the flame village once again returned to peace and warmth. Sherhua sat quietly by the fire looking at the beating flame, thinking about what this trip had brought him. He knows that from now on, he is not only a warrior, but also the guardian of this village, the guardian of the fire. Chapter 6. The Trial of the Guardian The days in the village of flame glow with brilliance in the new flame, but Sherwa knows that the responsibility as the guardian of the fire is far from over. He must ensure that the flame from the sun will never go out, and at the same time, he must protect the village from any possible threat. One day, a strange sound came from the forest near the village, and the animals fled back to the village in panic. Sherhua felt an unusual smell. He grabbed a stone knife and walked towards the depths of the forest. In a dense forest, he found a group of dark shadows shuttling among the trees. They were a group of fierce beasts, quietly approaching the village. Sherhua knew that he couldn't let them near the village. He took a deep breath and made a plan with the courage and wisdom of the fire guardian. He collected dry branches and leaves, made many fires, and lit them. Smoke and flames rose quickly, forming a barrier. The wild animals were afraid of fire and smoke and began to hesitate. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Sherhua led the villagers to shout loudly and wave torches to show their strength and determination to the wild animals. The beasts were finally scared away and disappeared into the depths of the forest. The villagers cheered, knowing that it was Sherhua's wisdom and courage that saved them. 
That night, Shihui sat by the fire, thinking about his role as a guardian. He decided that in addition to protecting the kindling, he should also teach the villagers how to protect themselves and how to face any challenges they may encounter in the future. He began to organize hunting teaching, build fortifications, and even teach the technology of using fire. Shihua is not only the guardian of the fire, but also the real leader and guardian of the village. Chapter 7 Eternal Fire Species with the passage of time, Shihua has not only become a hero in Flame Village, but also a legendary figure. His deeds were passed down from mouth to mouth by the villagers, inspiring generations of people. He taught the villagers how to use fire to cook food, drive away wild animals, light up the night, and how to maintain and inherit this precious fire. Shihua is old, and his hair turns gray, but his eyes are still as bright as ever. At the last moment of his life, he gathered the young people in the village around him and taught them the secrets and responsibilities of the fire guardian. He told them, kindling is not only the source of light and heat, but also the symbol of our culture and the witness of our common history. You must protect it, just like me. After Shihua died, the villagers held a grand ceremony for him. They scattered his ashes beside the eternal fire, keeping him with the fire forever. They believe that the spirit of Shihua will always protect them, just like the flame that never goes out. With the change of seasons, Flame Village has experienced countless changes day and night, but no matter how the world changes, the fire has never been extinguished. It witnessed the growth of the village and the persistence and dedication of countless guardians. Shihua's story has become every child's favorite story before going to bed. His courage and wisdom inspire everyone. In the endless years, people in Flame Village continue to live in the warmth of the eternal fire, and they have learned to cherish and inherit this hard-won gift. And Shirwa's name, like the eternal flame, is forever imprinted in the memory of the village and has become the eternal guardian of fire.